This episode is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to create your own professional website, portfolio, or online store. It's incredibly easy to use, and every design automatically includes a unique mobile experience that will look great on every device, every time. It starts at just $8 a month and includes a free domain name if you sign up for a year. For a free trial and a 10% discount, go to squarespace.com forward slash blog talk. That's squarespace.com forward slash blog talk. We're back to the Total Celebrity Show on the Total Radio Network. Again, TotalTutor.net for more information. Twitter, Total Tutor, Neil S. Haley. Facebook, LinkedIn, Neil Haley. Instagram, Total Tutor. And Twitter, Neil Haley. And I'm so excited to welcome the program. And, and again, having a celebrity like this uh, is, is fantastic for sure. And uh, and 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 uh, we are uh, kind of in that break mode. We might get the Spanish team on the line, but uh, again, I've had an unbelievable time. But he's going ahead and uh, staying up with me, so I want to welcome the program celebrity from the Discovery Channel's Game of Pawns, Justin Tranchita. Uh, Justin, thanks for calling, hey, and how are you, man? Oh, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Late night tonight, but I'm. Uh... I'm a night owl, so I'll survive. How are you? Uh, I'm I'm a night owl too, and I'll survive as well, Justin. So, how old are you, by the way, just to see who's who's the uh, if I'm just just crazy at my age to still be staying up? <laughs> are you asking me how old I am? Do yeah. You want me to yeah. give you a, a, a real answer on that? We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll just say uh, we'll say 29 in a few days. Okay, okay. I'm 41. We'll say 29 in a few days. See, I, I'm 40. I'm 41, so I'll just say it, you know, and I, I never sleep because I have five kids, so this is no big deal for me. It's just exciting, the the whole uh, drill thing, but I'm excited to talk to you, and, and we could be at one point getting back on the line with uh, the Spanish media. I have no idea, but, again, it is what it is. But tell us specifically enough uh, the experience of being on Game of Pawns and how cool it was to be on, to to be featured on Discovery Channel and having a show. Tell me about it. Oh, you know, it, it's, it's been a real great experience. I mean, you know, one of my good pals, Scott Velvet, um, you know, it's his pawn shop, and and uh, since I was a little kid, you know, I've I've, I've done music and and uh, TV and different stuff, and he said I need kind of a you know a unusual or funny guy, kind of an idiot, you know, basically on this show, can you pull it off? And I said, well, I've been an idiot for all these years. You know, why not do it on TV? So um, it's been a lot of fun to hang out with my buddies and uh, uh, getting filmed and, and uh, you know, just, just being us on TV. It's, it's been a lot of fun. It, it definitely is. And tell us a little bit about what Game of Pawns means. And I saw it was Branson, Missouri. So it's a definitely another country music uh, capital next to, I guess, Nashville. Branson's the next place to go for country music, right? Yeah, I mean, it's all different types in Branson. I mean, uh, you know, definitely in the Bible Belt, if you want to say that. But the show, basically, the show takes, like, a cash cab look on on a pawn show. So when the people come in, instead of us haggling back and forth on a price, they have to answer trivia questions to win more money. So it puts kind of a neat spin on it. I mean, we've bought everything from... Uh, a DeLorean from Back to the Future to, uh, uh, you know, uh, anything you can think of. Elvis's pistol, uh, Elvis's driver's license, um, you know, Pee Wee Herman dolls. I mean, there's all sorts of weird and crazy things we bought on the show. So, um, you know, it's been it's been a lot of fun. You never know what's going to come in. I mean, I don't know. Uh, some days, you know, there's nothing uh, cool, and then, you know, the next day someone's in with the, some sports memorabilia that you just you know want. So, so people it's are unusual in, in that way. Exactly, and you know, it's, it's it's the kind of thing where you know somehow we could figure out that hey, I have something better than you have, right? And this is going to be worth more. And then the part of the show is all about if am I getting over on that person, right? It sounds like right. Well, and you know, the other thing is, I mean, you know, and I come from an entertainment background, so that's how I got roped into this thing. I mean, my dad owns a coin shop, so you know, which I tried to stay out of because it bored the hell out of me. But uh, you know, uh, coming from an entertainment background and being brought on the show kind of as the funny guy, I got to learn, you know, a lot. I'm still learning. You know, we'll be filming again, and I'm, I'm sure I'll learn uh, a few more things. But, uh, 
you know, you'd be surprised some of the things that are worth, uh, you know, worth money and some of the things that are, you know, you think are worth a ton that are just worthless. You know, that that's like the, what I, you know, what I wanted uh, by being a part of this so far. It's, it's definitely uh, sounds like it. And what, once the experience ended, what? How did, it, did your life change in certain ways? I know you do movies. I know you're uh, you are also are a musician. How did it change specifically of getting a show on Discovery Channel? Well, I mean, kind of, you know, here's a funny story. And I was just I was doing another show, and I told him about this. You know, when we start getting recognized by people, you're never ready for it. I mean, the first time it happens or the first few times, you know, it's it's cool, but it's weird. And so, uh, you know, people will recognize you in the most unusual places. I was in a truck stop restroom in, like, you know, Colorado or something. And there was a, you know, I'm, I'm like five foot nine when I'm standing on my tippy toes. And there's this big guy staring at me. And I'm, you know, you, you know I'm using the restroom. And he's just fixated I mean, I'm thinking, man, am I going to get jumped or mugged in this restroom or what? And I, I go over to wash my hands, and this guy comes up to me, and he goes, hey, are, are you the guy with the bulldog from Game of Ponds? And I was like, oh, thank God, I'm not going to get rolled, you know. And the, the funny thing about the story is he pulled out his camera, and he says, hey, I want to take a pic. And I said, okay, whatever. And so you got me and him. But the funny thing is, in the middle of the camera, there's some poor schmuck using the restroom <laughs> the wall. he got him in the in the picture. So that's floating all over Facebook somewhere. It's just you know, you you uh you never get used to that. You know, it's just it's bizarre. But uh what do you do? You know? I mean, exactly, Justin. And we're talking to celebrity Justin Tranchita uh, from Game of Pawns and uh, on the Discovery Channel. And it's, it's, it's such an interesting process once you uh, get your deal and you're on, uh, on, on, uh, on, on, on reality television and how life changes in specific ways. But for our listeners out there, I know you have a lot of other projects going on. We're definitely promoting the Game of Pawns. And what I'm going to do for you, especially uh, tomorrow in Spain, is, is promote it for the Spanish audience to say, and then we'll have to kind of reach out and I'll, I'll message you and say, hey, you want to go ahead and I, I call into our conference call line if you're still up. I'll, I'll just I'll text you and say, hey, man, are you up through these next two days that I'll be staying up late because I'd love you to, to, to tell the Spanish audience about this as well. But uh, just tell us, so, so tell us a little bit about some of the other projects. And I definitely want to have you on the show again because you're, you're a pretty cool guy and uh, easy to talk to and Laid back. I don't. Ha- you're probably the 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 first celebrity ever to be calling me this late at night, and they're not on the left coast. So you we got to we got to say you, we're we're really proud of you for that reason as well. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm a singer, so you know I do the TV stuff and the movie stuff, but the singer that's always been in me, and that singers, man, we we are uh, we're a different bird, you know, and we definitely stay up late. I. Uh, uh, I'll throw my Twitter out to to the uh, listeners. It's at the singer uh, Justin, at the singer Justin. So keep that in mind. But yeah, some of the projects I'm doing. I just filmed a really cool movie uh, by H and W Films. Uh, did it in Texas. It's a western. I got to play like the evil guy, which is the first time I've played that role. I'm always kind of a funny, you know, nutcase, and uh, uh, it was really cool to kind of take a new look and be bad, you know, and not get in trouble for it. So the name of that film is Thicker Than Water, and uh, I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, uh, I got my new record coming out in the fall. The name of the record is This Is America, and actually uh, I just dropped the first single. You can find it on YouTube, uh, iTunes, Amazon, whatever. Um, so those are two of the, you know, major things uh I'm undertaking right now. The record is like a full-time thing. Of course, the tour will be coming up this summer. And uh, a new television show that we're going to shoot in the summer um, is another Branson show, um, but it's it's more of a sitcom um, called The Branson Family. And it's it's, uh, just about five, you know, friends that are, you know, uh, nuts and you know trying to figure things out and make make it a better town but we always seem to screw everything up so that's what i'm on the radar right now uh and there's another film i'm doing uh uh next week it's a world war ii pick but god it's late i, I can't remember the 
<laughs> I can't remember the name right now. So uh, you have a lot so going on, out. Justin, for sure. You definitely. I got a lot. I got a lot going on, man. I was just out in L.A. Uh, with Adrian Ashley. Um, she's producing a show called The Real Deal that um, I'm probably not going to be able to be a part of. I was going to be a part of that, but I just have so much going on. Uh, great show with Eric Roberts, Dustin Diamond. And uh, uh, we went to this charity event with William Shatner last Saturday, and I, I tied one on pretty hard. And uh, I guess I've been told, I've been told, I tried to, to lay a big smooch on Winona Judd. Now, I can't confirm that. Because <laughs> I, Justin, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I had a few too many, if you know what I mean. But uh, it's been an interesting couple of weeks, brother. That's for sure. Well, then definitely, it seems like an interesting couple of weeks, and then you finish up with a late night interview with me, and I'm like, oh, I'm counting the minutes, so I'm I'm, I'm to to bed do, bedtime for Bonzo for me, uh, especially I'll be up at right. six o'clock in the morning, then very very soon. Oh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's gonna it is what it is for tonight, but I guess I'll remember when the days and the bars close, and you have to go to bed for uh, three or four minutes. Now, uh, another thing going on with uh, I guess when you talked about the, another show on in Brand. Branson. Do you know where that's going to be picked up? Where that's going to be heard? Where that's going to be seen? The new Branson show, or you can't say yet. Yeah, I can't really uh, can't really divulge that. There's a there's a network that's interested and in that's developing it right now, and and that'll be an upcoming uh, you know thing that I can put out probably within the month. But uh, I don't want to get in trouble. But uh, no, it's no. going to be big. It's going to be a great show. I mean, it's just. Uh, pretty exciting. Most people, when they think Branson, they think old people. They think, uh, you know, uh, old-time music. They think, you know, this show's really going to, you know, uh, kind of tell what really is going on in town. And Actually, there's a lot of young guys like me, a lot of up-and-coming people in the business. Michael Haygood's going to be on the show. He's got a theater here in town. His family, uh, um, you know, basically five knucklehead friends trying to make a living in the entertainment business in, in Branson of all places, not LA, not New York, not, not Nashville. I mean, we're talking Branson, Missouri. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's like five guys hopping into a clown car, you know, it, it should be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Well, it seems like you're definitely looking forward to it, and it's something uh, you, definitely all the different projects Justin's having, and uh, and it just seems like always another opportunity. And you're going to have to come back on the show when you let me know uh, specifically enough about what is happening uh, with uh, the, your newest show, your music, all the different things. I know that they uh, your publicist sent me some stuff with the music. I'm going to definitely see if uh, I can get the guys from. Uh, uh, Spain to play it during the live event as well. If they're allowed to play music, or I will play some music in between uh, breaks from our interview. But uh, you're doing a lot of awesome things, and uh, and still Game of Pawns is, is airing all over the world still, right? It's not. It's it's stopped in the. Oh US. yeah, man. We just debuted. We're just uh, debuted in Australia last week. Uh, debuting in New Zealand over the weekend. Um, UK debuted last month. Taiwan. I mean, it's crazy. You know, my Twitter, I'm getting, you know, people from, it's great getting the fans in the U.S., and I love it, man. I love my American guys. But when you have people writing you from Taiwan and the Netherlands and Paris, France and Germany and Russia and, you know, Ukraine and all, you know, it's it's pretty crazy. You know, Discovery Network is global. I mean, it is huge. And, uh, it's just funny to go into you know millions and millions uh, of homes and, and people to to watch you and be entertained and, and you know the other guys on the show are great uh, Brian and Scott are, are my pals on the show and and you know in the real world and uh, it's just been a really great time it's been a real uh, uh, you know chance to grow and try something new and exciting and, and I'm really looking forward to uh, to filming the second season. Oh, really? So I didn't even know about that. So there is going to be a second season of that, too. Oh, you're just busy as can be, Justin. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm, – I'm <laughs> rocking and rolling, buddy. I mean, I'm, I'm – stay- hey, you live one time, you know. you got to get on it when you can. So, uh, um, you know, really uh, really just keep your feet pumping. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a fast-paced world out there, and there's a lot going on, so – 
Okay, well, so, yeah, I mean, uh, all positive things. I can't really bitch. I'm a full time dad, so, no, so um, yeah, exactly. And same with uh, me and all the craziness. So, Justin, where can we find information on you? Learn more about your purchase, your music, all the different uh, things. And uh, honestly, I'm going to uh, text you the next couple of days and say, "Hey, I got five minutes. Say hello to Spain." Because, but uh, honestly, I, I didn't. Your publicist didn't know this. Guess what? You're going to be definitely okay. live in London and two or three stations I'm on in London. So you're getting your uh, pr- push for the show in, in the U.K. I'm, I'm on in Jamaica and all over the world, but we have radio stations in London, Whaley, U.K., and also. So there's there's some places definitely you're hitting in your oh, They're right lovely now. over there, man. They're lovely over there. I, I won the, uh, the Exposure Music Award Best International Act in 2012. I love the U.K. Those guys are great. Uh, if you want, if you want to reach me, the easiest way is uh, Twitter at the singer Justin. It's really easy to remember at the singer Justin, and that's the best way. As far as getting my music, um, the name of the single is "This Is America," and you can get it anywhere: Amazon, iTunes, Spotify, wherever. Hit me up on uh, YouTube, Justin Franchita, and you can check out all my my videos and all the all the goodies. But uh, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad you had me on, and and uh, you got a uh, you got a huge amount of Twitter, exposure. Yeah. I get about three hundred fifty thousand or four hundred thousand live. I mean, all the different syndications. So you're definitely getting some exposure. But I wanted you to do Spain. But hey, I got two more days left, Justin. So you keep I wanted to you, 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 you know, I'm Italian, but I traced my family tree, and and on my father's side, we came. We were trained Chico, which is the weirdest name, but. We were we were Spanish, man, and we came over to Italy uh, like in the 1300s or something, and then settled there. So I'm actually, you know, the whitest Spaniard there's ever been. But uh, you know, well, what we're gonna do, Justin, is I'm gonna text you, and I and I'll, I'll just keep uh, bugging you and, and see if there's a spot open again to get you on at least for five minutes to say hello to you. the Spanish fans that were looking forward to talking to you. But I appreciate you got to the whole world heard you tonight. But yeah, we want we want more than the world. We want Spain and Madrid. So we got two more days of this World Radio Challenge. Can you believe they're staying up for 76 straight hours? They're crazy. Wow. Wow, that's nuts. Well, definitely get me back on, brother. I'm uh, I'm up for it. You let me know when, and I will uh, try to squeeze that in my schedule for you. All right. I hope you're not doing a lot of work at this time. You're probably at the bars, right, Justin? <laughs> no, I'm not at the bar tonight after that Shatner thing. I'm trying to dry out a little. I don't want to make Bill mad at me next time I... Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, it's, I gotta be good. So it's bedtime for Bonzo, and it's bedtime for me, but I don't know what time you'll be going to bed, Justin, but good talking to you, man. Uh, all right, pal. Good, good deal. Stay in touch. All right, take care. Okay, bye-bye. You're listening to Total Celebrity Show, and we'll be back in just a moment.